welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another Dior unboxing and you may already be able to tell from the size of this box what kind of bag I'll be revealing today. So if you want to take a guess, let me know in the comments down below which bag you think this is as well as the pattern and size that I purchased it in. And I did buy this bag online, so there are some differences between ordering something from Dior's website rather than purchasing it in store. So I wanted to share my experience of ordering on their website with you guys. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Carol and my channel is all about fashion, luxury, and style tips for the working woman. So if you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing to my channel and ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on new videos every single Thursday. And let's get into the video. So when this bag first came out, I actually wasn't interested in it at all because I thought that it was way too big and boxy for my size. And I am 5'4", so sometimes bags could be very overwhelming on my body. But as of a lot of things on social media, eventually the shape of the bag just started growing on me. And when Dior decided to release the bag in a smaller size, I was hooked. I decided that I wanted to get it, but I still wasn't really a big fan of their oblique print. So I was originally looking at the leather version, which I had contemplated buying, but eventually this pattern was released on their website and it was first released in the pink colorway as well as the gray one. And I really almost bought the gray one, but unfortunately it sold out before I could make the purchase. But I think it worked out for the best because after seeing this colorway, I think it's much more stunning and this color really makes the pattern stand out a lot more. So without further rambling, let's unbox this. And they actually gave this cute little star charm on it. So this I'm definitely going to be keeping and I'm actually going to hang this on my mirror. And oh yeah, full disclosure, I've actually already opened this before. And as far as the unboxing goes, I think I did tie this up pretty well. I was kind of trying to reverse engineer how they tied it so I could remember it for this video. So off comes the ribbon. And then um, let me move this onto my lap. And then the box, which is huge. And then in here is the tissue paper. Let me take this off. just fold it down it will expand and then you see the handles of the bag and then ta-da it's the Dior book tote in the Trois de Jui pattern in the small size so I don't know if I'm going to choose to have this embroidered at the back with my name I kind of like the idea of if I don't want to have it be so obvious that it's Christian Dior, I could just flip it and it looks a little more understated as so. And of course there is the resale aspect of this. Anyways, this bag is just open completely on the inside and I really like how the embroidery on this is kind of slightly three-dimensional. So a lot of these animals that are embroidered on are kind of slightly popping out of the bag in a way. And this bag cost, um, it actually doesn't say on here, but from my recollection, this bag is $2,750. Whereas if you get the oblique pattern, it's $2,650. So they do charge $100 more for this bag. And the leather version that I mentioned earlier is $2,800. So you do have the option of paying $50 more than this and $150 more than the oblique version for a fully leather bag. So in a way, the leather version is probably a better value for money. But at the same time, 
I just think this is a lot more stunning than the leather version. The leather version is very understated for sure. And I think there's a certain elegance to that bag. But I think because I really wanted to get this bag to wear in the summer in place of my Louis Vuitton Neverfull, I really like how fun and quirky this print is. And I definitely much prefer this to the oblique pattern. So I did try to fit my 13 inch laptop in here and it does fit, but it's a little bit of a tight fit. So where you see on the sides, it kind of folds in a little bit. It won't fit if you kind of put it to the center of the bag, but if you try to put it in towards the um, front of the bag or towards the back of it where it's a little wider, it does fit in there, but quite tightly. But I think as the bag kind of softens up a little bit, then it'll be able to fit in there much better. When you order from Dior's online boutique, they do offer complimentary standard delivery as well as free returns. Surprisingly, for both this bag as well as the bag that I purchased prior to it, I did end up getting free next day delivery. I'm not sure if that's because of the value of these bags or because where I'm located is close to their warehouse. So they do ship everything out of their warehouse in Farmingdale, New York. And their warehouse is completely separate from where the physical boutiques source their items from. So if you wanted to find a certain item and they weren't able to track it down for you in the boutiques, there might be a chance that you'll be able to find it online. If it's your first time ordering from their website and you're in a rush to receive your item, keep in mind that it might take a few extra days from the date that's stated on your order confirmation to actually receive your item. So they do still send the item with the delivery method that you selected, but prior to the item actually getting shipped out, it's stuck in a processing status for a few days. What I gather from speaking with customer service is the order first has to pass through their accounting department so they can verify all your information and your credit card details before sending that order over to their warehouse for fulfillment. So for my first order, I was expecting it to get delivered on a Wednesday and it actually wasn't sent out until the Friday and I received it on the following Monday. So that is a little bit confusing, especially if you're seeing a certain delivery date and even by that delivery date, there hasn't been any updates on the order. And when I called customer service, they weren't able to give me a date for when the order actually will be shipped out. But when I ordered this specific bag, I was expecting for there to be a similar delay, but surprisingly, it actually shipped out the following day from when I placed the order, and I got it exactly on the day that it was expected to arrive. So I think it probably is a matter of whether you're a new customer or a returning customer. As I mentioned, the return policy is slightly different. When you purchase something in their boutiques, you have 10 days to make an exchange or a return, but when you buy something on their website, you actually get 30 days to decide whether you want an exchange or a return. And you basically fill out a return request online and just pack up all your items and they give you the return label as well as the packing slip to go in the box to return it. And there's actually certain items that once you purchase it from their stores, you won't be able to return it or even exchange it. And I don't know exactly all the items that are included in this. Of course, if the item has been personalized or tailored to your specific body shape, those are definitely no longer returnable. But one thing that I didn't know was belts were included as items that were exempt from their return policy. And the only reason I know this is because I tried to exchange a belt that I previously bought and they told me this at the boutique when I tried to exchange it. But I do want to mention that they did end up making an exception for me if I wanted to exchange it, but I ended up just taking the same belt home. And it's kind of written in the fine print of their return policy when they give you your receipt, but it's not specifically stated the items that are included. It's a little bit vague. From what I can tell on their website, the return policy applies to everything as long as the item is unused and all the tags are still attached to it. So for this bag specifically, there's only this price tag on the bag, 
but there is no other tags on here that says if you remove it, you can no longer return it. But on the first bag that I purchased, there was clearly a tag on there that said if you remove this tag, you can no longer return it. So just pay attention to what is on there and make sure you keep all the packaging and everything. So if you wanted to return it, you definitely could. Overall, it was a great shopping experience and I would totally recommend it, especially if like me, you don't have a sales associate you've been working with for a long time and you don't really want to go on wait lists for certain items or scout out the stores to be there right when an item is available. You do still kind of have to pay attention to when new merchandise is released on the website, but I would say that as far as my experience has gone, it's not quite as challenging and competitive to get something that you want on their online website. And it's just great having everything listed in one place so you can see what all your options are. So now back to the bag. I'm so excited that I got my hands on this bag and I really can't wait to be able to use this bag, hopefully sooner rather than later because I would really like to get some use out of this when it really warms up and especially in the summer. But for now, I'll just leave this out at home and admire it as much as I can. So if you tried guessing what bag I purchased, let me know if you got it right. And what do you think of this pattern? I really love this Trois de Jury pattern. Let me know what you think of the book tote in general. Is this something that you're interested in purchasing or do you already have one? I really do still like the leather version. And I actually think that if they came out with an all black leather book tote, it would be absolutely gorgeous. So let me know if you like this unboxing video by giving it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, definitely do consider subscribing and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.